Isaac and yes. Jacob. Oh yes. Get a hold of you. Oh yes. Oh, I thank God. He'll make you pray. That's right. Eh? That's right. All right, son. And had seen in a vision a man named Ananias. Yes. Him, and putting his hand on him eh? that he might receive his sight. Why is it? Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this Lord, man. listen, I heard a lot about this fellow. How much evil he hath done to thy saints he's at a, Jerusalem. He's an evil thing. And here he hath authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. He even got authority Amen. from the chief priest about concerning those that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Wait Go a minute. The Lord said, Go thy way. Never, never mind. Never mind that. Never mind what kind of authority he had. That's right. You do what I said. Go thy way. Go thy way. For he is a chosen vessel unto me. Hallelujah. 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 God chose, chose. a sinner. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Chosen vessel. God chose. That's right. A murderer. Hmm. That's right. God chose. chose. A blasphemer. That's right. He done it ignorantly, but it doesn't change what he was. God chose. God, that's right. He was a chosen, a selected vessel. He is a chosen vessel unto me. In other words, he was temporarily hired by the devil. <laughs> that's right. Working for the devil. That's right. But I'm going, I'm going to set him free mm. from the clutches of the devil. That's right. I see how loyal he is for the devil. Yes. And I conclude it well. I, I can make him more loyal for me. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. But the Lord said unto him, go by way. God saw you out there. That's right. Being loyal to the devil. Yeah. Glory to Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God saw you. That's right. Thank God being out there committed to sin. That's right. Amen. Rebellious. Yes. Fighting for the devil. We ourselves all here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God saw that he can use that man. Yeah. Use that woman. Oh, yeah. Use that boy. Use that girl. That's right. That's why he said he knows them that are his. That are his. Hallelujah. What is that? In due time. That's right. Two times. The due time is upon everybody. That's right. And That's right. All right, what did he say? Back in Acts 9 and verse 15. But, the Lord, but the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. Go oh, thy way. For he is a chosen vessel unto me. He is chosen unto me. To bear my name be before the Gentiles. And what? And kings and the children of Israel. Yeah. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Uh -huh. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house. You know, Hallelujah. it doesn't matter what kind of persecution face you. No. And I say this because I received word earlier part of last week, about Wednesday or Thursday. You know, God is bringing thousands to this message. Amen. And we have followers of the truth of God throughout the largest state in the country of America, Texas. Yeah. We have an all Spanish congregation in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And you know, we send ministers around the country and around the world to baptize and minister to them that are hungry. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So uh, and we make the announcements over the air, what minister going to be where, what date, and what location. Uh -huh. So we made the announcement of the baptism and services to take place early in the week in San Antonio, Texas. Uh -huh. And some thugs or religious thugs or, or not religious, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But they watched this program and they called the hotel threatening to protest Lord. and trying to gather as many people as possible to gather at the hotel oh. to protest the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ if the truth of God come to San Antonio, Texas. Mm. They called the hotel. And the hotel was startled and called the authorities and they said we never had nothing happen like this and since we've been in business, they called one of the secretaries in San Antonio and she contacted Minister Went, who contacted me. Mm -hmm. Told me what happened. He said, sir, what should we do? I said, go anyway. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Go anyway. That's right. Go by way. He said, whatever you say, that's what we'll do. I said, go anyway. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. 
I wasn't scheduled to go in San Diego, San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> but now, amen. Now I said, you know, normally when a year come in, January, I don't travel nowhere. Right. Try to be home and rest. Right. But brother, <laughs> I want to say to, if you're a religious group, or whatever thugs. <laughs> I don't care if you're a gang. That's right. My first trip of 2022 is in January. And I'm coming to San Antonio, Texas. Amen. And I'm coming with a challenge to all you protesting religious thugs. Yeah. Now, I wasn't there, neither was I scheduled mm -hmm. to be there this week because I'm busy. Yeah. But uh, for you to hate this message so much that you will call protesters yeah. to try to keep us from baptizing, first of all, I want to thank you for fulfilling the scriptures. That's right. I believe in the book of Acts. They charged the apostles and said, didn't we straightly command you not to preach in that name? That's right. They threw them in jail. But the angel come, blessed be God, and told them, go in the temple. That's right. And tell them all, all the, the words way. of this life. That's so right. to you that's in San Antonio, Texas, that dare us. <laughs> that preach or baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To all my viewers, be watching in your area and go to the church website of the dates, time, place, oh, yeah. and the month of January. Yeah. yeah. We're going to swarm <laughs> on San Antonio, Texas. Amen. We're going to swarm on them. Amen. Like bees. That's right. And let That's me right. say to you San Antonio, Texas heathens. Amen. Let's see if your bite is as equal to your bark. Yeah. You better show up. <laughs> That's right. You want to protest the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. We're coming in person. That's right. In your home. That's right. And you better defend your territory. <laughs> That's right. Because I got a beating with Bible. All of you that protest the baptism in the name of All Jesus right. Christ, show up. Amen. If you can't speak English, that's no problem. No. I have my Spanish interpreter. That's right. That way, I start my Bible swing in English, and then the jab can end up in Spanish. That's right. And I still will get you. That's right. San Antonio, Texas, the whole city. I said the whole city. The whole city. Not half of you, the whole city. Yeah. That protest the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. The truth of God is coming in your area in the month of January 2020. Everybody, uh, everybody, 2022, everybody's invited. Amen. And everybody. you better show up. Amen. You better show up with your signs. And any of you show up with your signs or bandanas, I'm going to have some of my brothers come out. We're not going to run you away. We're going to invite you inside. Yeah. And if you don't want to come inside, I get two of my cameramen yeah. to follow me outside. Wonderful. And I'll beat you outside. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean what I'm saying. That's right. I mean it. That's yes, right. I do. If I'm in the pulpit and protesters show up, I'm going to tell the brothers invite them inside. If, the, if they don't want to come inside, I'm going to tell one of the other brothers, you take the microphone in the pulpit. I'm going to tell the cameraman, come on. Come on. We going outside. That's right. I'll beat you in any part of your city. That's right. That's right. You better show up, you thugs or religious cowards. Yeah. I'm giving you November. 
and December <laughs> and half of January That's right. to warm back up. Amen. Get your nerve. Yeah. And tell me why the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is wrong. Yes. Let the world understand this. If you're not repentant of your sins and baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus, it ain't none of you saved. That's right. None of you. None of you. None of you. Your bishop, your apostle, your prophet, your pastor, your evangelist, your father, your mother, your husband, your wife, That's your right. son, your daughter, your churches, your principal, ahead, your mayor, Go your governor, your politician, none of you say. That's right. That's right. You got to do it just like the word of God says it here. That's right. San Antonio, Texas is unclean. Yes. They are dwelling in the thick darkness. In the thick darkness. So it take God and we got a message here yes. to pull you from the womb of the world. That's right. From the darkness. That's right. And just like a baby come out head first, that's the first part that God wants you to come out of the womb of sin. Yes. He want to bring you out head first. That's right. Eh? That's right. Why? He won't expose. He, the first thing he wants to do is expose your ears. Expose your ears. To hear the word. Yes. Once to expose your ears to hear the word that ignites your mind. Now you can think about what your ears heard. That's right. And they won't hit your ears and now rotate your mind, travel to your heart. That's now your heart, heart can, can become emotionally acquainted with what the ears have heard and what the mind begin to think. That's right. And then once the heart get it, now the body can act out what the ears heard, what the mind think, Go and ahead. what the heart feel. That's right. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Go ahead. Oh, say God. Go ahead. Come on back. Yes. You got to come back to the original thing that God had left here. That's right. Out of my so our learning. That's right. Don't you know the Bible say what's the other things? We're written here, for we're written a full time. We're written for our learning. That's right. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Viewers, don't you know all your belief? Got to be what's written here. That, that's right. Oh, right. Never mind Pope Paul, Pope Francis, Pope Henry, no. Pope John, Pope McGillicuddy, That's Pope right. Adam. I don't hear nothing about that mess. That's right. Thank glory to God. You got to come on back to what Jesus said. That's right. What they said that God would dwell. For then spake Listen, Solomon, chapter and verse. Back in 1 Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. Then spake David's son. Then spake Solomon. Solomon. The Lord said. The Lord said. That he would dwell in thick darkness. Viewers. With All of you, and many of you that are here, if you are a sinner, you in thick darkness. Thick darkness. God sent me, and I know that short statement got you burning already. Already. <clears throat> Mama said that they were listening, and the Mama said that they touched thumbs down. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's right. God sent me with the light of heaven. That's right. That the light of God may shine in the darkness. That's right. And when light shines in darkness, darkness or ignorance or the unwise understand it not. That's right. And they speak evil of the thing that they don't understand. When we come tell them there's only one God, they try to shove two down my throat. When we come tell them there's That's one right. God, they try to add one to the two and got three. three. We tell them there's one God, the Mormons got five. That's right. We tell them it's one God. The country of India got over, over, over. one million gods. That's My Lord. That's, true. That's an overdose of God. Oh, yeah. That's right. You overdosed on idolatry. Amen. Are you listening? Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said that he would dwell in thick darkness. He would dwell in thick darkness. I have surely built thee a house to dwell in. Yes. A settled place for thee to abide in forever. There was God wants you to have a settled place. Settled place. And uh, the greatest of all place to settle in. Yeah. It's God's word. That's right. We have a settled place settled here. Place. Amen. Thank God. Once we settle the scriptures, yes. we ain't got to move no more. Oh, no. Once I go to scripture, I don't have to go to no other book. That's right. That's right. No other book to try to find revelation. Amen. I don't have to go to no other book to try to find godliness. That's right. I don't have to go to no other book. Why? I'm settled. Settled. And God wants this to settle in the heart of men. That's right. When this settle in the heart of men, it move out the corruptness. Yes. 
that is in men's heart. That's right. As it stands now, Vera, you're corrupt. Yeah. Yes, you are. You that's down there in Honduras and South America, you know, the Catholics, they, they got practically South America sold up. Oh, yeah. And had, had South America sold up for years. Yeah. Because many of my Hispanic brothers and sisters who don't yet know Christ, many of them go to the Catholic Church where they got a big statue of a fraud. <laughs> That's right. Big old fraud, big old fraud image yeah. up there. That's Amen. It. And got you praying to some statue in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. That's not Jesus. No. Get me, get me, get me, Honduras. That's right. And get me, you that's in the country of Belize. That's right. That statue is not Jesus. No. Never had been Jesus. Never. No. Never will be Jesus. Our God is in the heavens. Our God is a statue. Our God is in the heavens. In Psalms 115 and verse 3. Hear this, viewers. But our God is in the heavens. No, our God is on a shelf. But our God is in the heavens. No, our God is a little image knelt on the wall over our bed. But our God is in the heavens. Our God is on a mantelpiece. Our God is in the heavens. No, our God is in the courtyard of the hospital. But our God is in the heavens. Our God is being power washed on Monday. Our God is in the heavens. Our God is being pissed on at night. But our God the is in the, in the alley. But our God is in the heavens. Our God is being leaned on by neighborhood prostitutes. But our God is in the heavens. Amen. Our God is in the heavens. Our what? Our God. G-O-D. Our G-O-D-S. Our G-O-D is in the heavens. False prophets believe in G-O-D-S. That's right. You'll find that in the book of Kings. Yeah. You had the prophet Elijah went up against the false prophets of Baal. And uh, Elijah called on one. One. And he told the devil prophets yeah. to call on your G-O-D-S. In the book of 1 Kings 18 and verse 25. He said, but I will call on my G-O-D. And call on the name. Give chapter and verse. 1 Kings 18 and verse 25. Oh, that got more than one God and claimed they're a preacher, they are bell messengers. Bell. That's right. Messengers of the devil. That's right. All that believe in more than one God and are not a preacher, you are the devil followers. You are the devil worshipers. That's yeah, right. I don't care if your church got the name of Jesus Christ on it. I don't care if your church is called Pentecostal, Apostolic, non-denominational, Episcopalian, Protestant, Call yourself whatever you like. If you got more than one more than God in your wish up, that religion is of the devil. That religion come from hell. That's that right. That religion come from hell. That's right. Ah! First Kings 18 and verse 25. What did he say? And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal. Wait a minute. One prophet, one Elijah. Mm -hmm. Numerous of prophets of Baal. That's right. And what did the one man of God say? Choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first for ye a many. Ye a many. And call on the name of your G-O-D-S. But put no fire. Wait a minute. Them. Elijah said, they are what? And called on the They are what? And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first for ye are many. They are what? Ye are many. Jesus come along and said, ye fools and slow of heart, believe all what the prophets have said. That's and right. Jesus believed what the prophet said and come along and said the same thing and said, many. Many. Use the same language. That's right. Same wording. Yes. Many. For ye are many. Yeah, Jesus said, many false prophets shall come. That's right. And shall deceive many. Many. Jesus didn't put a number on it. No. Thank God because he knew it would be a whole herd of them. <laughs> that's right. Eh? That's right. And that's what you had then, thank God, and that's what you have now. Amen. What is it? For ye are many. Ye are many. And call on the name of your gods. Focus on the language of the Bible, viewer. Amen. Focus on the language of the Bible, viewer. Mm -hmm. Folk here. Here South America. Yeah. Here Canada. Europe. Japan. Asia. Australia. Amen. Cambodia. Cameroon. Yes. Africa. Hear this. And call on Hear the this. That's right. Hear this. First Kings 18 and verse 25. First Kings chapter 18 and verse 25. And call on the name of your God. Hey, worshiper, worshiper, worshiper. Amen. Is that language in your worship? Are hmm. you calling on G-O-D-S? G-O-D-S. Amen. Are you calling on G-O-D-S? That's right. Hey, do you got an elder, a pastor, a bishop, or a skunk of an apostle, or a raccoon of a prophet? <laughs> That's right. 
Eh? Amen. That's calling on G-O-D-S. That's right. Well, we, we saying what a mighty God we serve. Yeah. Not what mighty G-O-D-S we serve. No, no. Amen. Wonderful, brother. Call on the name you. of your gods. Call on the name of your gods. Of your G O D S. Call on the name of your G O D S. But what? But put no fire under. Don't, don't, don't put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal. Yeah. From morning even until noon. And said what? Saying, Oh, Baal, hear us. Devil. Amen. Yeah. Oh, and Baal. let you know more than one God worship. That's it's right. devil sponsored worship. That's right. That's satanic worship. That's right. And oh, Baal. Oh, Baal. Hear us. That's, that's what the, anytime you got more than one God, you can say the name Jesus all you want. All you want. But you're really asking the devil to pay you some attention. Oh, Baal, hear us. Baal. When your God head is plural, what are you saying? Oh, Baal, hear us. When your God head, your God worship yes. is more than one. Amen. Go on, son. What do you say? Oh, Baal, hear us. That's you. That's yeah. right. That's you, Trinitarian. Yeah. That's right. That's you, Jehovah Witnesses. You got Jesus, a little God, and Jehovah, a big, a big God. God. What are they saying? Oh, Baal, hear us. You are devil worshiper. That's right. Eh? Oh, okay. Your, your preacher can scream and do an Indian rain dance until he make quarters come out of a cloud that stands right over his chimney. And called on the name of Baal from morning. Call on the name of Baal! From morning even until noon. And what? Saying, oh, Baal, oh, hear us. devil, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. Can't get no results. That's right. And, How they, long, and they leaped upon the altar with Yes. Made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. That's what I'm doing. Amen. Oh, yeah. Mocked him. They said that if he had love, he wouldn't mock him. Well, That's the prophet right. had love. That's right. He served the same God I'm serving. That's right. God ain't had no problems with Elijah mocking him. Amen. And if he ain't had no problems with Elijah mocking him then, I haven't seen God make a complaint with me mocking you now. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. Amen. I'm going to mock you too, you more than one God fool. And said, cry aloud. That's what you are. Yeah. Go on and cry aloud. Fall out. For he. Yeah. Let your preacher throw his hands yeah. over his ears and give you a lying vision. Roll on the floor, kitty, until he blend in with the carpet. <laughs> That's right. You out there jumping around talking about more than one God. That's heathenism. Yes, it is. Heathenism. That's what it is. If you are a Jehovah Witness, you're not a Jehovah Witness. No. Because Jehovah Witnesses believe in one. That's right. I'm a Jehovah Witness. That's right. And I'm telling you, Jehovah God of the Old Testament is Jesus Christ of the New. That's right. Jehovah God of the Old Testament is Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel, when Jesus came here being interpreted, is God with us. Oh, yes. How was he with us? In the flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do you hear this? And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him. He mocked him. And said, cry aloud, for he is a God. Hey, hey, viewers. Are you in your church down there in Honduras? Or in America or somewhere? Somewhere. And there's a big statue there and you're praying to it? That's right. Right. Bowing to it, crying. Cry, that's right. And some old Catholic fraud or some old blind devil deceived man or woman mm -hmm. come tell you the statue the statue is crying. Yeah. The statue spoke to you, ain't nothing spoke to you. No. But the devil. That's right. That's right. Are you doing that? Amen. Do you see a little decoration around your house mm -hmm. on your front lawn of some woman who you claim is Mary? Mm -hmm. Holding a little dirty statue that you claim is Jesus That's with right. another dirty statue of a man who you think is Joseph. <laughs> That's right. That's right. With a bunch of dirty little deer and lambs. <laughs> Amen. Are you making plans to celebrate Christmas? Christmas. A lie where it says Jesus was born. On the 25th of December, that's a lie. That's a lie. The Bible ain't never said when he was born. No. That's a lie. That's a lie. That the devil put in the mouth of the world of false prophets, including your pastor. That's right. That's true. You that are in Honduras, let me make a shocking announcement yeah. to you. Amen. Are you alone? Alone. Yeah, that's right. Look to the left. Wonderful. <laughs> Look out your window. Come on. Look to the right. Amen. Get close to the television. That's right. The Pope is a liar. He's lied. That's right. Amen. The Pope of Rome is a liar. Amen. 
Amen. There is no pope in history that represented Jesus. No. Someone said, you're wrong there. What about Peter? The Bible ain't never said Peter was anybody's pope. pope. No. And if Peter was your pope, then you would do what he preached. Do what he preached. He ain't told you to be sprinkled. No. And say, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Not only that, if Peter was your pope like you claim, like you claim. then the pope and all the priests will be married right. or at least want to get married at get or married. at least endorse marriage That's right. because Peter was a married man. That's right. Bible says Jesus helped his mother-in-law mother -in and you don't get a mother-in-law because you fished. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. You don't get a mother-in-law because you're out there baiting a the hook catching fish. No. You get a mother-in-law, glory <laughs> to God, because you're interested in some woman's daughter. Daughter. And uh, you married the daughter. That's right. Praise his great name. That's right. Come on, son. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked Elijah mocked And said, cry aloud, for he is a God. He is a God. Either he is talking. I, either he is talking. Or he is pursuing. You know, that, 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 that's the teaching also of the Mormons. Yes. That's true. You know, the Bible lock everything down. Yes. Oh, yeah. The Mormons say that Lucifer and Jesus were spiritual brothers in heaven. My Lord. That's not true. And because the world was in such chaos, there was a council of gods. My yes. Lord. In heaven incorporating Greek mythology. Mm. They said it was a council of gods in heaven who was very observant of the world's chaos and the council of God was trying to decide who among the table of gods will be sent to the earth <laughs> to uh, bring peace on earth and goodwill to man. <laughs> My Lord. So Jesus volunteered according to the wicked, corrupt, trash teaching of the Mormons. Yeah. And Lucifer uh, volunteered. Oh, Lord. And the council of gods voted. Mm. Voted Jesus in. Oh, Lord. And voted Lucifer out. out. And Lucifer got mad with the council. And got mad with Jesus. Mm. And they said as a result of his anger, that's what brought about war in heaven. Do you hear the madness? Madness. Do you hear the satanicism? My Lord. Amen. That's why that religion was found in New York. That's right. And you go to New York, it's confused right now. That's right. <laughs> New York is still confused. Yeah. Anytime anything come along after the Lord have told you to be holy, come from hell. Yeah. All this late religion. That's Joseph right. Smith supposed to have found a tab, some tablets <laughs> with some writing on it. After an angel appeared to him named Mermon. Mermon. That was the devil. Oh, yes. That was the devil. The devil appeared to old man Joe. That's right. Huh? That's right. The devil appeared to old man Joe. Amen. <laughs> and then Mermona talked to Joe. Talked to Joe. And gave him some tablets hiding under a rock in upstate New York where you can have all the wives you want. Yes. And Jesus supposed to have came to America and the Book of Mormons is an extension of the Bible. The Book of Mormons was put together by the angels of hell. That's right. Sponsored by the devil, Sponsored. and old man Joe is on his way to hell. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. There ain't no angel named Ramon in the scripture. No. That's no. why they call themselves Mormons, yeah. meaning followers of the angel Mermon. That lets you know it didn't come from God, That's because right. if you follow God, you will have the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Not the name of some old angel. No, no. 